Hey guys, it is Grant Fritchley with the Fritchley Barker Group at Keller Williams in Ocean City. Um, welcome back for another episode of Selling Ocean City. We've got Michelle from Church Here Mortgage with us here again today, and we're gonna do just a real quick, really easy um, synopsis of questions, myths, facts about buying at the beach. And then if you want to learn more, we have a video too coming up that's gonna go into a lot more detail, so check it out. For a lot of our clients, Buying a beach home is a dream, whether it's a second home, whether it's an investment property that they have to rent, whether it is a property that they're buying as a second home that they rent to help cover the costs. Mm -hmm. But for a lot of people, this is a new experience. The only other experience they've had to this point is buying their first home or their primary home. Let's walk them through, A, we understand and we've made the point it's important to use local. But when it comes to the, the beach buying process, the team you have in place, mm -hmm. the realtor, the title company, and the lender, how we work together, what we do, what the process looks like on the back end. Because a lot of them just believe, a lot of buyers just believe, hey, I have a realtor, I have a lender, mm -hmm. and they're over here. Right. That's not true. Mm -mm. We work together daily, hourly through this process mm -hmm. uh, with the title company as a team. Yeah. Um, because I need to know what's going on in your world. You need to know what's going on in my world. Um, talk to me a little bit about that. You know, the first step for the home buyer is always reaching out to you to maybe start looking at properties and your first question to them is, have you been pre-approved? And that's where I come in. Um, I'm gonna take a look at their credit, um, income, assets, and just make sure they're set up. And a big part of that too is asking them, you know, what their goals are and finding out um, where they wanna be so we can come up with the best loan options for them. Um, so that's obviously step one. I always tell them no decisions need to be made right now, but here's, here are your options, here's your ballpark. You know, do they know what their down payment and closing costs look like? Do mm -hmm. they know what that payment's gonna look like on that investment property condo? Mm -hmm. Do they have any idea what kind of rate they're looking at? Mm -hmm. So that's the first conversation. And then once they're comfortable, I send it back to you and I always tell them happy house hunting. And I think that's when you kind of come in and you kind of take the reins from there. It, it does, things don't stop at contract. No. Uh, contract's halfway point. Yeah, beginning so, for me. <laughs> correct, and, 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 and that process from contract to close is when the team works together on this process. You're coordinating and communicating with the title company. Mm -hmm. You're coordinating and communicating with us. You're letting us know the appraisal was ordered, mm -hmm. when the appraisal comes in, um, where you are in the process. Are you hitting your timelines? Yes. If you're not, why? Are you waiting on a condo questionnaire from a management company and a third party? Are there things that we can do to reach out to help and to assist or to speed things up? Mm -hmm. The title companies in return reaching out to both of us and sharing the same information. It, it's, it's a process, everybody works together, everybody has to work together. For sure. Or we're not getting to the finish line. While we're in this process, you, you've touched on conventional loans. Mm -hmm. Explain to me, explain to the consumer, who's Fannie Mae, who's Freddie Mac? <laughs> so, what, what individuals are these? <laughs> I call them the mortgage gods. Yeah. Uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are the two end investors that um, basically hold all the guidelines in place for conventional financing. When, you, when we run a loan through Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, we're running it through their automated approval system and they're spitting us out an approval that says that these clients under these loan terms is acceptable per our guidelines. They also review the condos and they're basically making that list that we talked about earlier on what they will approve and won't approve but both have different guidelines, which is kind of cool. So in an in instance, if a Fannie Mae has put a condo on their do not lend list, a lot of times I can take it to Freddie Mac. So it's kind of cool to have both investors on our side so we can kind of work whichever angle we need to, um, but they are both involved and we can look at both options on every, on every loan. But understanding the entities and the relationships, Churchill Mortgage, any mortgage broker, mm -hmm. your job is to meet the consumer, get the loan done and approved, right. make sure that file meets Fannie guidelines or Freddie guidelines because your company is then going to take that loan, package it, and sell it to Fannie or Freddie. That's correct. 
So mortgage brokers are all shopping at the same places Correct. for these loans. You're just the local one facilitating it here locally. Yes, that is correct. Okay. All right, guys, thanks for watching and, and checking out our most recent video uh, here at Selling Ocean City. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was informative. Uh, we want to thank Michelle and thank her special friend. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, reach out. We'd be happy to answer. Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, and more importantly, make sure you like and subscribe uh, to our videos to stay in touch and up to date on all things Ocean City. Thanks, guys.